Do you want to flirt with Mortimer? Yes. This isn't that kind of rags to riches challenge. You don't like the sales page? Well, I don't like you coming to my sales table and not buying anything. Hi, everyone. It's Shar. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to rags to riches, our landlord edition. We are back with Edith who is very hungry. And I just want to take a moment to say while Edith is chopping tomatoes and cutting her fingers, thank you so much to everyone who watched the first part, who took the time to leave a comment, to like the video. I don't have money, best. It really means a lot to me. I love The Sims 4 so much, but there are so many challenges that I could play with you all. And it's hard for me to decide. So when you take the time to leave a comment or to like a video or just to tell me how much you're enjoying something, it really means a lot because of course it warms my heart, but also because because it lets me know what kind of things you like to see on this channel and what I should focus more on. With that said, I did recently <laughs> post a video where I was like predicting The Sims 4 packs and because I have a new microphone, I'm really not used to speaking so far away from it. So if I'm peeking at any point, thank you for bearing with me. I'm still figuring things out. But we're back with Edith. In the very end of the last part, our gorgeous queen here was able to afford a kitchen and an easel and she has her first point. So I'm happy to say I think we've officially escaped the hard grind of just like looking for things around the world. Willow Creek is so beautiful. Oh my gosh. But we did get to the point where she can now officially start making money on her lot. I'm going to start by having her paint and then selling those paintings to work up to having a selling table. Make as much money as we can from the selling table and then have Edith get to the home chef hustle while she pees in this bush over there. Did she not finish eating? Oh, she did finish eating. Well, good for you, Edith. Come to a classic painting, a small one, because you're going to be really bad at it. Oh, look at you watering your plants. You can water the plants after you do a classic painting. And really the aim for this part is how much money can I have Edith make in 72 sim hours? Let's see. She's painting a flower. Dirk wants to come over. I'm really surprised that Dirk even talked to Edith. Celebrities in The Sims 4 don't talk to anyone and it's always so hard to get to know him. But Dirk was like, who are you? <laughs> and started to talk to Edith. Dirk, thanks so much for coming over. This is my uh house. My toilet is apparently the front door. I'm not going to insult him. I'm just going to say, yeah, he really is into Edith. Look at him. I'm just going to talk to him. Let's debate the existence of vampires because, of course, she knows that Vlad was stalking her yesterday. I wonder if I could give Dirk a CC makeover because I saw what He's flirty. I know. Edith is quite stunning. <laughs> me being conceited about my own sim. I am kidding, by the way. Oh, I don't like Dirk. He really likes me, but I really think that Dirk is conscious. He might give off that vibe, honestly. Okay, Dirk. Well, I'm trying to paint my flower. I wonder if she'll have a high enough paint skill Yes, sell to collect. You didn't lose any money on this, and that's a good thing. See, I told you vampires are real. That's Vlad at front of my toilet. Don't like me? Well, get off my property. Get off of my property. He's probably like, why aren't you obsessed with me? Where's the option to go away? Dirk, go home. See, now she has a fear. Now she's a perfectionist. You want to flirt with Mortimer? Edith, this isn't that kind of rags to riches challenge. Oh, uh, fantastic, Edith. 138 simoleons. Oh, you're tense now. You're tense and you're bored. Can I have you water the flowers? Is that going to make you have fun? I could have her have fun by cooking. And honestly, I should. Oh, now she's feeling inspired. I was like, what's that green cloud of stink? It's my bush. She loves that she has artistic expression, but she hates that she's a perfectionist. But her love of being artistic outweighs her perfectionism. No, Johnny, come back. Johnny, I was trying to talk to you. Oh, that's right. She doesn't have a sink or a trash can. So she just kind of leaves her dirty dishes there. She's not tired, so... But she is tense. I can have her practice her cooking. Let's have her something really simple. Let's just do a single serving of eggs and toast just to get her skill up so that when she's ready to home chef hustle, she'll be able to. Oh, look at her slamming that fridge. Oh, that reminded me. I meant to raise the in-game volume. Sorry. She loves cooking. It gets her fun right up. She's probably thinking of all of her chefy aspirations as she burns this toast. Cooking level two. Good for you. Oh, I should have had this be. Oh, no, no, no. Damn it. She had to choose the most expensive painting. That's an excellent quality meal from a shitty stove. Yes, I'm so impressed. The fact that she's also only had to pee once tells me that, um, you know, she's not very well hydrated. Ooh, an 85 simoleon profit. Edith, are you just naturally talented? Let's do a medium uh, classic painting. I think we're like 100 and something simoleons away or maybe 200 simoleons away from getting a selling table. And that's when things will really kick up. This is a part of Rags to Riches that I really love. It's 
how much money and how quickly can I make money? Another cat, I'll sell that to the collector. And you have enough inspiration to do another one, do a large one. Hopefully the large one gives me an even bigger profit because I just spent a hundred simoleons. Oh, she's level three. This isn't even a tiny house. It should have been. Vlad, Vlad, no, go away. You can't drink my blood. Yeah, leave, leave. More cats. Does Edith want a cat? Is that a doll? She's gonna get her period. Oh, I don't have any tampons or pads for you. I'm sorry. You're staring at your easel. You're viewing. Well, I think that you have enough energy to do another. Let's just do a small one. Oh, you are drinking water. Good for you, Edith. Oh, she took herself to bed. Gotta love autonomy. Eyes and shine, Edith. You don't need to listen to Dirk's complaints. In fact, let me reset you so that you're not constantly wanting to listen to Dirk's complaints. You can come and fertilize your bush. Our plants have finally sprouted. Bluebells are the cheapest ones, but I'm still gonna sell them all. For 14 simoleons. I never realized you could hear them pee. Ew! <laughs> yes, Edith, sell all for a whopping 14 simoleons per bush, which is still getting us closer. I can't wait to get a selling table, and the weather is beautiful today, which makes me feel like she can go to San My Shuno. Where'd you get the video gaming skill? Her phone. She can go to San My Shuno and get to selling what she paints. Yes, we officially have one. Now, Edith. You can't know you're sad. Don't cry about it. Do a sad painting. We could go to San Myshudo. I'm going to get her to stock up her. Dirk, stop calling me. You have a crush on Agnes Crumplebottom? Yeah, I would love to see her reject you. Let's see what our sad painting is going to be. Is it a spider? No, it's the crying face. Yes, she loves painting. I love that for you. Put this in your inventory. Uh, do a classic painting, please. Hello. I don't even have a house and I don't know you. So no, you can't come stay with me. We just need a couple of paintings in our inventory so we can go to San My Shuno with our selling table, which I'm going to purchase for her. Ooh, <laughs> and we can make money. You know, I probably should have realized that in order for her to do that, she needs the selling table first. Otherwise, she's going to continue to spend her money. <laughs> Here it is, a street gallery. Put that in her inventory. She has 46 simoleons, which means, unfortunately, I do need to sell this for 190 simoleons because now she can officially start painting for cash. She loves painting cats. She's painting level four. I don't know how she's getting skills this quickly because this isn't a tiny lot, but she is gaining them quickly. Uh, if you just saw her gag, it's because she's about to get her period. I should probably stop triple speeding because we're going to waste a whole day. Can you do a realism painting, please? Are you good at this? Too bad you don't actually have a car. Although I could get her one. It's just... We'll play with that later. Fabulous, Edith. Fabulous. Put this in your inventory. Let's do a pop art painting. We'll do a large one as... Oops, you can't afford that. Never mind. We'll do a pop art painting, a small one, and then we'll go to San My Shuno. I could, of course, sell it from here with a yard sale, but I figured it'd be fun for us to leave the lot. Ooh, that one's pretty. 148 simoleons. But because it's rags to riches, and at this point, we'd be spending a lot of time on the lot, I figured we might as well go to San My Shuno just to get a little bit of variety in the game. I'm going to send her to Waterside Warble because I want her to sell at the basketball court. Oh, it's raining. How dare you be raining? Are y'all going to come and look at my art? anyway i'll just pop it here next to this guy how dare it be raining in san my shuno on the day that i want to sell okay place this in the world yes that's exactly so close edith that wasn't exactly where i wanted it to go but if that's where you want to put it hope you don't mind mr cart marcus flex guy because i'm going to sell my paintings mark up the prices obviously to 300 percent, and we're going to start the street sale with the 11 simoleons we have hello kind people i see you here buying food what i would actually really love you to do is to buy my paintings look at how talented i am you're telling me you don't love cats <gasps> bjorn you're rich buy something <gasps> yes 688 simoleons from bjorn thank you so much bjorn judith judith girl i know you have money i know that you do yes people admire my paintings buy my paintings i do really love that we're selling in samai shuno i genuinely love this world i think it's so pretty but the thunderstorms oh i thought that was thunder <laughs> Be looking at the light flashing and I'm like, oh my gosh, it's thunder. It's not. It's me hovering over the building. You didn't want anything? You're rich. Katrina. Katrina. Hi, Katrina. It is so nice to meet you. Would you like to buy something? No one's buying anything. They keep leaving. I know that they uh fixed the thing where if you mark up the prices too high, no one will buy anything, but I'm still going to keep them that high. Give a sales pitch to Morgan. Morgan, Morgan, you have money. You have ancient money. You're a spellcaster. 
Give me thy cash. I'm giving a sales pitch to everyone that walks by. It has to work. Let's see how many people walk away from my ridiculously <gasps> 520. Yes, I only have one more painting to sell. Maybe I'm guessing here and I'm hoping it's not the case, but with the fine tuning, when the prices are up 300%, maybe you only make one sale per the sale, if that makes sense, like per yard sale. I hope that's not true, but I have a feeling it might be. We'll test this because she only has a few minutes left. So I'm gonna start another street sale. And it'll be my last one. Look, the night market. We're preparing for our future. You don't like the sales page? Well, I don't like you coming to my sales table and not buying anything. Well, I'm going to put this in my inventory because that just might be it. Yes, I know you're very stressed out, Edith. And you know what? You're already here. So I will let you come and use this bathroom. Oh, your needs are horrific. Her fun is fine. I was going to say, you can hang out at the bar. But actually... I'm just gonna send you home. Home sweet home, Edith. Come and fertilize your bush. Come and take a shower. You can have some leftovers and then you can go to bed. And of course, as always, as Edith is taking care of her needs, I will see you in the morning. Hey, it's 11 a.m. Edith is awake. She's uncomfortable because the trash all over her lot. But guess what? The lilies have bloomed. So we get even more money from selling. She's angry because she's PMSing. Literally. We've done it. We've done it. We've gone over the $1,000 mark. I want her to sell a little bit more with painting before I officially move her on to the Home Chef Hustle stuff. Let's do a classic painting, a medium classic painting. You love gardening. Stop being angry. Dirk, I've already told you. She actually said yes. Well, congratulations to you and Agnes. Weird blur over it. You see that? <laughs> Fantastic job, Edith. So proud of you, babes. Let's have you do a realism painting. Can you do a large one? That wasn't a very good one, but good for you for trying. And then we'll do a large pop art one. We'll do some selling on the painting table and then we'll officially work on getting Edith's cooking skills leveled up. She got an additional personality trait. She's creative. I'll let her cook because she has to get her cooking skill up anyway. Okay, we can officially start selling. I'll let her change into her hot weather outfit. I still would like her to be dressed for the yard sale. So let's stock the table. She's like, I can't wait to have a building and a roof over my head. And we're gonna tend the table and then we're going to start the yard sale. And for experiment sake, I will drop it to 200 just because I would like her to sell and not have to sell all day. Come one, come all. Look at my amazing paintings. Yes, there you all are. Mortimer, buddy. Judith, you come back every day. How dare you not purchase something? Do you see how sad this is? One sale. For 444, okay, two, 705. It's like, I don't want her to sell all day and she's gonna have to anyway. Start another yard sale. Night market as the moon rises in the horizon. Okay, while you all do that, let me just use my bush. Yes, a sale, just one more sale. Yes, that's it. You can all leave now. I hate that I can't drag this into my inventory. She has to put it away. Score, we have over 3,000 simoleons. I'm so excited for Edith. I think that to end this part off, I'm going to build her a little house and we'll work on getting her cooking skill up in the morning. I also realized she's never able to wash her hands, which is really gross. <laughs> but I'm going to send her off to bed. All right. She's up. She's awake. She desperately needs um some products to help her. I'm going to let her take a shower first. Of course, we're going to sell everything. Then I'm going to send her to the wonderful store to get the products that she needs. Look at all this money. She's almost at the $5,000 mark. Oh, she's like, let me make myself some breakfast with the hands I never wash. Ooh, is that a sandwich? A veggie slider. That's excellent quality. Well, let me help you out, Edith. First, let me help myself out and save the game. Then let me help you out and send you to the wonderful store. Okay, she's back. So let's continue to practice cooking and what I've been thinking, oh, she has to go to the bathroom to use the products. Getting in line. All right, Edith, you do that. So what I was thinking for this LP is that when Edith reaches something like 20, 25,000 simoleons, I'll officially move her into an apartment, like an apartment block that I built, which means I'll officially empty my own wallet for the four rent pack. Honestly, with how Edith is going, I think that she'll get to that amount and then next episode or two when she's officially in her apartment we're start working towards having her buy her own apartment complex and if we're really enjoying this series which again please do let me know in the comments as we continue to progress in this series if you are continuing to enjoy it so we can do she buys like a cheap version of a lot and then she renovates that over time 
and then her ultimate goal is to buy a really expensive luxury property did you just spend my money on a lemonade fine you can have a lovely summer drink let me know what you think of that plan of us kind of progressing through different levels of apartment types that edith can buy but for now she does need to get back to cooking and we can do just single servings of things let's have her do a single serving of a yorkshire pudding and i want to get her cooking level to level four maybe yeah to level two now so we get to level four and i'll end this part by building her a little tiny house i made the little tiny house in a separate video just because i think it would be really fun since i don't think i've done a tiny house build in a very very long time she's like i'm bored i've got to spend money on painting all right edith what is she painting now two trees love that for you edith she wants to go talk to her plant i think oh she's researching her plant Edith is just in her element. Like, look at her autonomously going to do these things. This is like her ideal life in, in aspects of it, in terms of what she does with her day-to-day -day life. Fabulous, Edith. No, don't go back to painting. I know you love painting. I know you feel so inspired to paint. But can I have you cook? Do a tortilla-wrapped veggie dog. Our fridge is just full of leftover foods, which is hilarious because she's never ordered food in her life. Oh, I hope she doesn't burn the house down. Oh, please don't let me jinx myself. Do a single serving of onigiri. Edith. She keeps pausing every two seconds to go paint. She genuinely loves it. Dirt, go for it. Why do you keep calling me to ask me questions? You've made it very clear that you don't like me. No, I don't want to go to the talent show. I want to make money. You just invited me to the talent show. One more meal, Edith. One. Damn it. <laughs> do you see how she's just queuing herself up to paint? I'll let her finish this meal. Fabulous. You're single serving. You can resume this small impressionist painting. And then I think if she makes one more meal, she'll be officially at level four. And I might sell the paintings in her inventory just via the inventory because I would like to have an even 5,000 simoleons to build her tiny house. Great job, Edith. You want to research plants again? Well, you can do that later. Let's have you do a grilled cheese. Please don't burn my house down. Yes, she's reached level four of cooking. She's very lonely, but I am going to end this part here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you did enjoy it. As always, I continue to have so much fun playing this challenge. Rags to Riches is one of my absolute favorite challenges, and I'm glad we got to explore the Home Chef Hustle Pack and the Four Rent Pack with Edith, and I am going to see you in the next part of this video, which should be this week. This week is entirely focused on Rags to Riches and Edith. Bye!